What's up guys? Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com. So in today's video, we're going to check out an extension for quickly animating things like movement and rotation in your models. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so we've talked about using the extension animator in the past. And while it's very powerful, um, this extension is a lot simpler and easier to use for simple animations. And I was actually pleasantly surprised to find out a little bit more about this developer. So it's basically called, um, if you search under move, rotate, open, close, it's going to show up. It's from the developer DBS. I'm not sure how I've missed his extensions because he actually has a bunch of really cool looking extensions. I'm going to cover some of these in the future. Um, so it's kind of nice when you've been doing this as long as I have to actually find something new that you haven't really messed with before. But in this case, we're specifically focusing focus on this DBS move, rotate, open, close. You can install it from directly inside of the SketchUp extension warehouse. It is free. So click on install to install it, make sure it's enabled. What it's gonna do is it's gonna pop up this little window right here. Now this window has three options on it. The first is the open close. We're not gonna worry about that one quite yet. The second is for moving joints around and the third is for your joint configuration. That's where you're gonna set up your animations. So what we're gonna do is I've got this cabinet I downloaded from the 3D warehouse. It's the kitchen cabinet base from Anna W. And so we're gonna set this up so that the drawer slides out and the doors open. And so we're just gonna double click in here. I'm gonna double click till I get to my drawer right here. So you can see how this is just a drawer piece inside of my cabinet. But what I wanna do is I wanna open this option for configure joint. Okay, so when we pop this up, there's options for hinge and slider. In this case, because this is gonna slide, we wanna set it to slider. First thing you wanna do is set your joint axis. If you don't see arrows in here, then this isn't set up, but you wanna click on an edge and notice how depending on the edge that I click on, it's gonna pick a direction, right? So you could pick straight up and down. Really anything, any edge is going to allow you to set the axis. But in this case, we want this to move this way. So now we wanna set this to be our closed location. Then the next thing I wanna do is I wanna click on this and I wanna move it like this. And notice how I clicked on the hand in order to do that. But then I wanna click again and go back into my settings for this option. And we wanna set this to be our open location, right? So now we've got a closed location and an open location, and then we can close this window. So now what we can do is we can click on this option right here in order to animate our object. So this is basically just going to apply the animation that we set in here like this. So now that we've set up our sliding drawer, let's set up an opening and closing door. And so I'm gonna take the handle and the surface right here, right click and make them a group, just so that they animate together. But then we wanna take this group and I wanna set this up with a hinge joint. So to set up our hinge joint, we wanna start by setting our joint axis. And so this one's a little bit weird. What we wanna do, and I'm gonna move my default model out of the way, but what we wanna do is we wanna pick this door right here, we're gonna open up our settings. This one we wanna set as a hinge, right? So we wanna set our close and we wanna set our joint axis to be whatever this is gonna rotate along. So in this case, right, it's gonna rotate along this end right here. So now we've got our joint set. Well, this is our closed. And then we're gonna take this hand, we're gonna click on it. And notice how we can use this in order to rotate this out like this. So say that we want this to rotate 135 degrees and you can type in 135 degrees right here. We wanna set that as our open. So we're gonna click on this, click on open right here. Notice how it shows you the open and close and you can close that window. Well, now when you click on this, notice how it's going to animate that door opening and closing. So we do the same thing over here, right? We'd set this up, hinge joint, joint axis, closed, open, now we're good to go. We can click in here and we can open and close these doors like this. And so this one didn't like that. So we're gonna go back in here, reselect it and reset this because I don't think it registered. So we wanna make sure when we select this that this is the open location right here. And so the cool thing about this is these will actually animate 
at the same time. So you can click on all three of them like this. You can also adjust the speed that's in here. Now, one thing I don't know, um, let's go ahead and let's see. So if we set up, I don't think you can actually export this as an animation, but we're gonna try it. So we're gonna add two scenes. So we're gonna set one with the doors open. And again, we need to click in here so that we can access these. And I'm gonna update this right here. But yeah, I think this is working independent of the scenes themselves. So if you wanted to actually record this animation or something like that, you would probably want to use a screen recorder like OBS Studio or something like that. And so this obviously has a bunch of really interesting applications, right? Like being able to set up sliding windows, sliding doors, other things like that. So I do wish there was a way to um, export an animation of this. So, I mean, I know uh, I know Animator from Fredo does give you the ability to do that, but if you're just looking to quickly add some like dynamic functionality to things like doors and windows in your model, this is actually a really interesting extension. All right, so that's where I'm in this video. Leave a comment below, let me know what you thought. I will link to my ultimate guide to SketchUp extensions on this page if you do wanna find out more about SketchUp extensions. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.